Okay guys, now the feet are dried off, as you can see. This one's still dry, so there you go. It's just dried off. They're still kind of soft like this, but they're just dried off. So, you're gonna need to go back to this now. You're going to need to take a fairly large size sausage. Now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna design the legs, okay? So, you're gonna need a fairly large size sausage for that. So we're gonna do both the uh, top and the middle of the legs. So once you roll it into a ball as always, like so, you then start rolling it out into a sausage. Now, don't worry too much on the way this will look. Right, so, because, because this is gonna be a mummy, yeah, you're gonna wrap, use wrap with bandages and stuff. So, don't worry too much what it will look like. Right, it's up to you how tall you want your mummy to be. So, I'm gonna cut that in half, about there. I think that will do my, squidge that down a little bit. Right, that will do me perfectly. So, don't worry about the joins at this end too much. Okay, don't worry about the join too much at that end. You can always push the bits in, yeah, and push them down so it all melds into one. Or you can always cover it up with a little bit of, um, the white when you put up the bits so basically that's all you do so once you're happy with the size once you're happy with the uh, way it looks <clears throat> you i can either push it into con into position or what i'm going to do is just put a bit of water now you will need also oops, sorry guys you will also need either some wires to put into it. Or some large skewers, all right? The reason, and you're gonna need to cut them, trim them, and do whatever you need to do with them. The reason why you need this, because what's gonna happen is, is those legs and those feet will not hold that, okay? Because that's gonna be the body, so it will not hold its weight so you have to prop it up with something now you can either go through the center of the model and then prop it up or do what i'm going to do which is from the feet up inside then that way it'll hold it to the feet to through the leg into the body and then that's where it's going to stay and then you'll glue with water or alcohol on either side and that's pretty much it so that's all I can say. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to use a wire. Now these are reasonably fairly cheap. Uh, the sticks are cheaper, obviously, but I don't like to use wood because wood can carry bacteria and wood can carry all sorts of problems. So this is why I like the metal because once you put the metal in, it's done. You need to cut to size, obviously, because obviously you won't use that in one go. But yeah, that's basically it. That's all you do. So yeah, so once I open this, you just need to take out one. <clears throat> then you take it. Now, if you've left this to dry like I have, you might find that it might be a bit too easy to break, but this is nice and soft still. And then what you do is just feed that through how much you want, and then just cut it off. At this point, I don't know how much I'm going to need because I've never done this before. So I'm guessing a little bit more than that, 
then I'm going to cut it off, and then I'm going to go from there. Anyway, we're going to show you now how to, I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to, right, so, what you need to do is just take a little pinch, a tiny pinch, about halfway, right, round it off, just so you roughly know where the kneecap will be, yeah, so, And we feed that through. Now try to go down the center a bit. As you can see, I went, I've gone skew wiffy. So try to get down the center or the nearest to the center as you possibly can with this. It might take you a few times to get it correctly, but once you're there, it's all good. Right, so I'm going to leave you for this part, and I'll catch you on the next.